I just got an email from a brother in the faith, and he is literally scared out of his wits because of all these false prophets out there talking about September 23rd. So this has got to stop. Since we as students of prophecy know that when you set a date for a certain prophetic event in prophecy, this side of the 2300-year fulfillment of Daniel 8.14, you are indeed exposed as a false prophet because the Word of God says in Revelation 10, verse 6, that there should be time no longer after the end times began. And the 2300-year prophecy ended on October 22nd, 1844, which means next month, we have been living in the end of days for 173 years. And if you notice, the only ones declaring the so-called September 23rd prophecy as being legit are those that are disobedient to the Lord that penned his prophecies in the first place. The basic biblical reality is we know what our Lord requires of his people before they receive any of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And according to 1 Corinthians 12, verses 4 to 11, one of those gifts is in fact the spirit of prophecy. The Lord never gives utterance of any prophetic event to any disobedient person. And he certainly would never grant a date and time of any prophesied event this side of the plagues of Revelation because he clearly stated in Matthew 24, verse 36, but of the day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. We as obedient Christians know what will happen next, but we will not know the day or the hour. To claim we will know the day and the hour before the plagues begin is to proclaim our God a liar. You can't say he said something when he literally never said it. That all being said, consider this scenario that some may assume may be upon us. All of the ones that proclaim September 23rd our Sunday keepers, and therefore disobedient to God's law, and especially his seventh-day Sabbath that was kept by angels even before a Jew was ever born, and will be kept in heaven for all eternity, those that break his Sabbath each and every week by keeping the Sunday Sabbath invented by the prophesied man of sin in Rome, who, by the way, admitted in writing, was created by the popes without a single Bible verse to back it up, those that keep the Roman Sabbath cannot possibly have an understanding of any Bible prophecy because none of the fruits of the Spirit are given unto those people that blatantly disobey their God. And since we know to proclaim something that is not of the Word of God as if it came from God makes that person a prophet, right? Because that's how the definition of a prophet was defined for thousands of years. And yes, they often speak of events in the future, but mostly they are used of God to proclaim His will in the way of doctrine. So when they speak new truth that has yet to be penned in the Holy Writ, it is verified by the word that has already been penned. That means when their doctrine, and in this example is their Sunday Sabbath, which cannot be backed by old light in the word of God. In fact, the old light contradicts it big time. We know them to be false prophets because new light can never contradict old light. And as Jesus said in Matthew 24 verse 11, in our day, these many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. And that's what they're doing. As obedient students of prophecy, we know Satan's going to appear as Jesus Christ one day very soon. And we know his entire work is going to be based all on lies. It's always been that way. I mean, he's the father of lies. This is why Hollywood, the media, the politicians, and the wolves on the pulpits have been spewing lies for so long. The people have been conditioned by Satan to trust his lies over biblical truth. And so what's to stop him from actually appearing on September 23rd so as to shore up all his obedient wolves in the pulpits as trustworthy? What I'm saying is, if Satan does appear on September 23rd claiming to be Jesus, it will make all these wolves denying God's word by giving dates on prophesied events to appear as true prophets to everyone else that has been bathed in the lies their entire existence. In so doing, the small number of real Christians who obey God to the letter and stand firm on what Isaiah 8.20 stated, which is, to the law and the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them, even though what we as obedient Christians preach can be backed by Scripture 100%, the majority whose comfort zone is living in the lives of Satan will be moved by their dying God to proclaim us to be the false prophets. Well, so be it, for that too was prophesied. Now, am I saying Satan's going to appear on September 23rd to proclaim himself Jesus Christ on earth? Because many think Jesus will, in fact, appear on that day. As a matter of fact, that's what that email about. This young man's scared because he's not ready. So am I saying that Satan's going to appear and act like Jesus on September 23rd? No, I cannot say such a thing because 
even when it comes to the prophecy of Satan appearing as Christ, even here, we have no date given in the Bible for that event. And I simply will not disobey my God, nor will I twist his Bible to preach for Satan. I mean, the thing is, even if he doesn't appear, this viral lie that he has preached through his many wolves will make millions, if not billions, start to wonder if there's any true Christian prophecy they can trust. I mean, seriously. When those claiming to be Christians cry wolf over and over and over again and fail each time, it's bound to make many stop trusting Christian prophecy. And this is why so many false prophets have come and gone recently. And so we see two scenarios being built here by Satan's masterful use of lies in regards to the September 23rd. Number one, if he appears on September 23rd to act like Jesus, he can make his lying pastors appear truthful and further lock down billions into accepting the mark of the beast. And number two, if he doesn't appear, he can make everyone on the planet think Christians are idiots because their prophecies keep failing. In either case, when you are one that has been conditioned your whole life to trust the lies of Hollywood or the media or the politicians or even the wolves on the pulpits that preach everything from a Sunday Sabbath to a seven-year tribulation without a single Bible verse to back any of it up, then Satan can use his lies in any manner possible to get you as a dying soul in his trophy case. And so for all of you watching this video right now that think September 23rd has any credence in biblical jurisprudence when it comes to how our God works, you need to make a final decision here. Who is more trustworthy? The God of the Bible who wrote those prophecies? Or the wolves that ignore not only his law, but the basic stipulations set forth by God of that very same Bible when it comes to how prophetic utterance is put forth by his truly obedient preachers. Thank you for watching. God bless.